Sega Dreamcast. Uh, the most underrated system ever made by humanity. Dude, it had, a, it had a pretty good lineup when it came out, too. You know? Happy 45th birthday for Garfield. God, it's still around. Holy crap. Um, is that comic strip still running? I haven't bought, an, like, an old-timey newspaper since forever. So, you know. And I, I kid you not, I stopped. And as a kid, this one back here would literally buy the newspaper just to read Calvin and Hobbes because that's how good of a comic strip he thought it was. Once that stopped running, you stopped buying newspapers. You know, you always bother your dad or your grandparents. You got the comics? You got the newspaper? You got the comics? You know? Dude, Calvin and Hobbes, I have not come across another serial series comic strip that was clever, still dark, wholesome, and just all around well-written since that, since that, you know, like the, the quality, even the art, the art was amazing, especially those, uh, Spaceman Spiff little imaginary things Calvin had when the guy would like draw dinosaurs, Bill Waterson, and he would do like different planets and stuff. The guy is a very talented artist. If you've ever seen some of his landscapes, Excellent with watercolors, has an excellent taste in colors, blah, 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 all that stuff. Uh, yeah, it is top tier, you know? It was, uh, God, there were so many good things back then. You had Farside, you had, uh, you know, Calvin and Hobbes. Um, I mean, if you were more politically minded, there was like Bloom County, you know, that kind of thing. But I didn't care about politics, still don't. Uh, not even Peanuts can reach Calvin and Hobbes. Yeah, I mean... Peanuts are probably more popular as far as a brand, but, you know. That was the other cool thing about Calvin and Hobbes. It, to me, it never sold out. You know what I'm saying? There wasn't an animated series. There wasn't, like, all these toys. There was the bootleg Calvin on peeing, peeing on something sticker, you know, that ended up going everywhere. Um, but other than that, it's like, you know, Bill Waterson made a bunch of money off of just pure comic strip syndication. I don't even remember merch for the series. There were just the comic strip and the book. And people valued that enough that this person can make a living off that. You know? Now it's like, oh, you got to have the merch. You got to have the game. You got to have this. Da, 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 da. That was, I think, one of the last comic strips that was able to do that. You know? I don't remember mugs. I don't remember greeting cards. I don't remember any of that. Do I ever stream as foamy? No. One, it's going to be too complex. Two, it's going to be problematic because the squirrel hates humans. I have a bit more of a tolerance. So, you know, the last thing you need is a squirrel yelling at you. If anything, Pillsy. We might do Pillsy one day. We, we just got to come up with a VTuber VRM. Hey, if anybody's out there, you want to make a Pillsy VRM model that doesn't suck, go ahead. Just send it to me. <laughs> I don't got time to be paying people. You out, of, you out of your mind? Get out of here. Bro. I gotta close some tabs. Bill Watterson is so reclusive he refused to see anyone wanting to talk to him about anything related to Calvin and Hobbes and only sent his comics out without discussions on his contract unless necessary. Yes. Yeah, that's what I like. That's my goal. That's my goal in life. Just, you know, do my work and not, not talk about it. Yeah. I, ca I can't imagine him... Yeah, that's probably why they have some decent mental health going on. I'm just going to assume that their mental health is pretty good. Um, because they basically say, no, I'm not, the I'm not I don't want to talk about it. Not going to talk about it. You know, and this way they don't have to deal with everyone. Nah, 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 nah. You know, everybody on the internet, you should do this. You should do that. Sometimes what makes a creator create something great is because it's unfiltered and pure and hasn't been tainted by the many cooks that spoil the pot which is generally public opinion you know you should make calvin have a girlfriend and make hobbs a furry yeah that would be the internet now and i'm sure there's fan fiction out there that completely destroys anything you liked about that series but mosquito trucks this is terrifying so this happened. So they would go around a neighborhood spraying DDT. 
and kids would run around in the smoke and play. Okay, I'm just going to get some coffee, and you can all let that sink in for a bit. Oh, my God. Bro. That is scary. That is terrifying to me, you know? Neighborhood kids playing. Hey, everyone, let's go out and play. There's not going to be any mosquitoes. <laughs> you know? Okay, all right. Th this this is going to be a thing. Because I just got an alert on the side of my computer that there was a page waiting to be printed in the background. And now it's like, do you want to print this job or just delete it? Was that the cause of all my problems this morning? Because it didn't print a page? So because my printer had something spooling in the background for seven hours, that basically dropped my stream frames down to like two FPS. Windows, please. <laughs> Dude, you can't print and try to stream at the same time. That's crazy. This isn't the future. I'm just, it's just a piece of paper. Like, it's text. Not a problem. Don't do it. <laughs> Think of your frames, bro. God. Printers are notorious for eating up usage. But why? Like, the document, like, in, in, the, in the print queue was like, 470k a half a megabyte essentially what the hell god all right well i guess culprit found first class school email systems ha your school had email i am glad i went to school during a time where there was an email and i didn't get a cell phone till later so essentially nobody could get in touch with me after i got out of school that was it. I am off school. It's like when you leave work back in the day. You know, basically, if you weren't home to answer the phone, they'd have to leave a message. You know, that kind of thing. Because you weren't tethered to a phone. You know? that That's the real problem I feel like is stressing everybody out, is you can't take a break. You can't take a break. You know, and I've said this numerous times, but... Whether you're a kid at school, uh, an adult at a job, you know, a kid in school and at a job, no matter what you do, you can't stop that activity. You can't stop school at 3 p.m. because school let out. You can't stop your job at 5 p.m. because your shift is over. You can't do any of that anymore because someone always expects to get in touch with you. Doesn't matter when, you know. Oh, well, that, that's the thing. We're at the point now where current generation of people, right? They've grown up with the internet. They know everything. And essentially, they can't get away from whatever they want to get away from, you know? Whether it's school, work, bullying. Um, essentially, you can only block stuff for so long before somebody creates another account and bothers you anyway. Uh, I don't have that issue. I'm not sure if that's necessarily a good thing. Um, Consider yourself lucky, you know? No, because I, I don't deal with a lot of people, but, you know, when I have to, it becomes a tedious mess, you know? There you go. Using a pen or pencil to rewind your cassette. Well, you're doing it wrong if it's oozing out like that. <sighs> My cassette is oozing lifeblood. There's a Karate Kid animated series? What the hell? He looks so sad, too. Look at it. I'm a cartoon now. Out of this world! I don't know any of these faces. Everything was a cartoon in the 90s. I guess ever it was. Because it was a lot of cartoons or movies I didn't realize were cartoons. Like Back to the Future, um, Men in Black. You know, uh, apparently The Karate Kid. You know, Toxic Crusaders. You know, which is such an odd choice to make into a kid's cartoon. Robocop? You, I mean, okay, here's the thing. Uh, because Robocop is also on... Um, what do you call it? Amazon Prime. We had those on in the background while we were working, right? RoboCop was a animated kid series back in the day, but it was based on a series of very grotesque and violent films. Like, I don't think people realize how violent these films were. 
for back then. That's why they all had R ratings. But it's it's kind of like weird that back then they're like, hey, let's take the super mature content and make it into a cartoon. Kids will love it. What? You know, now people will be like, how dare you? Like, get out of here. Take the Pepsi challenge. Dude, if I did that now, I would spit out both and say they're they're in they're swill murdering your your liver. Huh? Buddy Hackett. See this guy I know. Buddy Hackett. Because he was in a movie uh that I that I saw like as a rerun um on television. I think it was uh It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. Where everyone's trying to get to this particular area to dig up like uh, a bunch of money, you know? Um so yeah, it was kind of interesting. But this guy's crazy. It's good. What the hell is all this? What are they? What is this? What is this? I've never seen that before. Uh, basically, little collectible guys that had stickers that changed color when you put your finger on it. Oh, like on here. Didn't Transformers do that? Like, I, I feel like Transformers did that as well, where they would have these unmarked robots that you'd have to apply heat to the sticker to figure out whether they were uh, Autobot or Decepticon. I could be misremembering. Matt Foley, motivational speaker, down by the river. He's also dead, too. Everybody's dead. Sucks. Stop dying, people. 